for soil structure, I take my knife, push it into the soil profile, and I'm breaking the soil out as much as I possibly can. My goal is to obtain some PEDs, which are the larger units that the sand, silt, and clay uh, become arranged in over time. So I'm going to just sort of put, apply a very small amount of pressure and get the soil to break apart into these larger units, these PEDs. And then I'm going to take, and I'd say these are the average size and shape of the PEDs that I'm obtaining. I'm going to compare those to the structure shown in the field book for describing and sampling soils. And on, there's a page that shows the different types. And these match pretty well with what's called subangular blocky. So they're not exactly round and not exactly square. They're kind of square with rounded edges. We call that subangular blocky. The grade tells us how well defined it is. Three is very well defined, two is sort of moderately well defined, and one is very weakly expressed. And then we can also use it to determine the size. And there's a table here that gives the sizes in millimeters. So for example, um, I could use the tape measure and one inch is approximately 25 millimeters. So that would mean that these are medium subangular blocky PEDs. So the structure for that particular horizon would be medium subangular blocky.